We're here with Art at Will again. We're gonna go check out an amazing artist, Keenan Chapman. He's invited us into his home to check out some of his drawings, some of his paintings, and he also does tattoos. I might even just get a tattoo, we'll see. Let's go check it out. So Keenan, maybe you can tell me a little bit about how you got started uh, painting and drawing and tattooing. Drawing basically was the start of everything. I just started drawing when I was um, three years old and, and it started with just your basic cartoon characters. Uh, I never really liked colors growing up. I didn't like crayons and I didn't like markers and colored pencils or paint. So I was pretty much number two pencil. Uh, for the majority of my, my art life. Uh, four years ago, I got into tattooing. And I did, you know, during that time, experiment with paint. And just never, never really took it serious up until this last year. Tell us a little bit about this piece back here. Where'd you, uh, where'd you do this piece and where'd you draw the inspiration for it? Um, I did it at the UCLA Jazz Reggae Festival. I like Bob, <laughs> so I, I did a piece dedicated to him and got it um, backstage to Damien and his brother. I wanted to do that and I, it got done. And where do you see the art scene going in LA right now? Uh, right now it's, it's on the up. Uh, a lot of artists are stepping out, a lot of urban artists are stepping out. And I love being a part of it because I feel like it's you know another part of history from now maybe, you know. Hundred years from now, they'd be talking about a Chapman piece, and that'd be crazy. Like you know, to be in the books, and, you know, be all a part of history. You guys are a part of it also, just you know, uh, capturing it. So it's definitely up and buzzing, and, and I'm grateful that you know people are starting to appreciate it more. If they don't appreciate it, I intend on opening their eyes a little more to it. Just finished up with uh, Keenan. I guess I got a couple new tattoos now. Uh, if you want to check out some more of Keenan's artwork, you can go online and check him out at keenanchapman.com. Uh, all this tattooing, I built up a little bit of an appetite. We're gonna go right now into Venice and get some dim sum at the dim sum truck for lunch. See you there. Abbott Kenny in Venice with the uh, dim sum truck and uh, Monica maybe you could tell me a little bit about uh, what dim sum is first. Yeah um, dim sum is basically Chinese food and here it's kind of like appetizers dim sum because uh, the portions we serve it's kind of a decent size not enough to fill you up so people usually order like three to four orders of dumplings and we have a lot of specialties such as the Kung Pao chicken taco, the duck taco and the spicy tofu molina. What's your favorite on the truck right now? Uh, my favorite are the hard gal dumplings. It's a shrimp and bamboo dumplings and we give all our dumplings a special uh, garlic sauce that we make and it gives a little spice to it. So tell me a little bit about the food truck scene in LA right now because it seems to really be blowing up. Yeah, um, it's really amazing because I've been with this truck ever since it started which was in February and that's when I guess it, all the food trucks started coming out and now it's even bigger. There's like a truck for like every cuisine out there in every culture, so it's great. And if someone was new to dim sum, what would you recommend that they try first? 
duck taco, our most popular specialty. It's what we're known for. <laughs> Justin, he likes to give him something too. Good God, do I ever. So. See, it's a variety pack here. Get a little magic glaze. Get a little steam glaze so I'm healthy. It's part of my diet. Just finishing up here at the uh, dim sum truck down in Venice. Everything was delicious. If you want to check out the dim sum truck, you can go to thedimsumtruck.com. You can also follow them on Twitter. We're going to go check out an amazing painter right now, Hilary Narod in uh, Echo Park. Uh, just got down here to Echo Park. Gonna go check out some of Hilary Narad's work. So let's go inside and see what kind of painting she's got. Settle down, you're starting to freak me out. And comb your hair if I'm to take you anywhere. Maybe you could just uh, start by telling us a little bit how you got into painting at first. Um, you know, I always grew up with a crayon in my hand. I was always coloring and um, started painting when I was really little and loved it, never stopped, you know. I was the kid that got locked in a room and liked it because I could just paint and do my thing in there. Did you go to school or like, uh, where did you really learn how to paint? Yeah, I went to Skidmore College in upstate New York. Um, four years there, studied painting and loved it. Um, the studio there was awesome, professors were awesome. And, then moved all the way out to LA to keep pursuing my art career. Can you talk a little bit about your subject matter? Because I mean, you, you tend to kind of be pretty abstract. Where is it coming from? Um, a lot of my shapes start off from music that I might be playing. You know, I always pick a certain album, a certain band to listen to at the very beginning of my painting. And I'll know their mood ahead of time and just start drawing shapes and lines that go with the beat of the song but um, a lot of times it's objects that could almost be real whether they look like plants they look like it could be a hand but then I morph and manipulate them to ways that I would like to see them be in real life. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could touch on a little bit about how you are breaking into the art scene after just moving to in LA um, and uh, what resources are available to you to, to do so really just being open to any little thing, you know, this isn't a gallery showing, it's an interview and it's awesome. It's all about getting out there, meeting other people that have similar in interests, going to openings of shows, not hoping to get in the galleries, but just meeting people. Just finishing up here in Echo Park with Hillary. We saw some amazing artwork of hers. If you want to check out some more of Hillary's artwork, you can go to hillarytatenorad.com. Also, if you want to get in touch with her, you can email her at hillarytatenorad at gmail.com. Uh, this concludes this episode of Art at Will. I got some really funky tattoos. We ate some really good food. We saw some amazing artwork. Keep tuning in and checking out Art at Will for new videos. Yeah.